Hello everybody. This week's camera is the Olympus XA. It's a rangefinder designed by Yoshihisa Maitani. It was first re released in 1979, ran to about 1985. Uh, it's got a 35mm lens, goes from f2.8 to f22. The shutter goes from 10 seconds to 1 500th of a second. It's nice, it uses LR44 batteries, so you can find those at pretty much any drugstore in the world. Close focusing was not great, typical of cameras of this time. I think they said it was 0.85 meters. I ballparked anything like that to eh, about three feet. It's aperture priority, although uh, it has a needle, uh, shows the shutter speed in the viewfinder. It has vertical parallax because the viewfinder is directly above the taking lens so you don't really need horizontal parallax correction because they're in the same plane it's kind of cool so let's just take a tour the rewind knob uh, doubles as the back release for loading film the shutter release is a super light touch some of these uh, that gets to where it's fiddly where it either won't shoot or you just kind of get near it and it shoots Luckily, I've got a couple of these, and they both seem to work pretty well. The film counter is usable, but really, really tiny. The clamshell uh, is the power switch, and also the cover to protect the uh, viewfinder window and the lens. You set the film speed with this little tiny dial below the lens. The aperture is this slider on the right, all the way at the bottom, f22 and then you bring it up all the way to 2. f2.8 or you slide it all the way it has an extra kind of detent for uh, flash setting this is how you focus using the coupled range finder and a cool thing in the top of the lens as you're moving that you also get zone focusing scale coming through this little window on the top another really cool thing has this switch on the bottom and at the first position, it's a plus 1.5 uh, exposure compensation for backlight. The second position is battery check. Gives you that beep and, and the red LED on the front. The third position is the self timer. And it also sticks out and acts as a little foot to stabilize it. So this is one of those cameras that was really pretty well ahead of its time. They put so much into this that they actually simplified after this. I've got uh, a copy of the much maligned XA1. It takes better pictures than most people say though. Uh, I've got a couple of the XA2s. They're similar to this but they're scale focusing. And a couple of the XA3s. They're scale focusing. The only real difference between the two and the three is the three will read uh, DX encoded film. Here it is on an XA2. I have a couple of these uh, A11 flashes and then one of the A16. Honestly, I almost never use the flashes. The mount here makes the camera kind of wide. I mean, they're still not huge, but with a nice 2.8 lens, I really rarely need flash. So I'll uh, finish out the roll that I've got in this one right now, and I'll see you then. 